Okay, this time I'm going to show you how to do a basket weave. Now I've got silver this time because I wanted some 0.75 wire and that's all I had. Basket weaves are not braids, they're weaves, which means I have a piece that is going through all the others. The other, a, a braid, they're actually overlocking, interlocking with each other. A weave um, is different. So I'm going to go leave this one. I'm going to set one up, next one down, one up, next one down, one up. This guy's going to be my waft. So I'm going to hold the two downs. This one's going to go down, across, straight over. Then this up, this one here that's on the outside, I'm going to use it, bend it down to lock this into position and then pull this one forward. Now this one, beside it which was down, now has to go up. This one which was up, now has to go down. This one was down, now it goes up. This one was up. You would think it goes down, but it's actually my waft again. This is a down, no, this is an up. So then I hold now, I got a new waft, goes across. This one locks it down, this one goes up. This one which was down goes up. This one which was up goes down. This one which was down goes up. And the wire that, the waft that went across is actually the, the wire that I'm bending all these others over when I go up and down. So over, the one that is up on the left comes down. This one goes up. And they basically crisscross right here. Then the next one beside it that was down goes up. The one beside that that was up goes down. And it's important that at this point right here that they're tight and they go straight up and down. This one here, I don't put all the way down because it is my new waft. And it's going to go across, hold it tight. This one goes down, locks it in, crosses, and makes a little twist right there. You're actually looking at the bottom of the, the basket weave right now. Go up. Mr. Up guy goes down. Mr. Down guy goes up. The one that is on the right is now the waft. Hold the two underneath, waft across. This guy holding the waft goes down and up. This guy here, up. This guy that was up goes down. This guy that was down goes up. New waft, continue. So I'm just going to do this a little bit so that you can see what it looks like from the other side. You will not probably do it quite this quickly, but it's important that you try to keep your pressure the same and your angles the same. That's how you're going to keep it even and beautiful. All of that stuff that we love. There we go. Basket weaves are a little bit harder, a little easier to get confused. I don't suggest you do this with wire that is too thin. You know, for a life lesson, 0.75 is good. Uh, when you do this with groups of wires, where you're doing, you know, three wires side by side, or two wires side by side, it's very easy to get confused. I'm going to finish this one here, and then I'm going to turn it over and show you what it looks like. I will do this again in class so you can see. Take the clamp off. So that's the back. That's the part that's going to go against our main band, and that's the front. You can see how each one of these lines is parallel to itself. This line is nice and parallel. I will be able to put this in a vise and pull it when I'm done my entire length and that'll just tighten it up a bit. I can also set it down and I could tap it a little bit 
just to flatten it out. If it was thicker wire, I could flatten it or roll it or draw it through a half round draw plate or something like that. So that's a basket weave. Okay, um, yeah, basket weave. And you can do this with flat wires. So I could have flattened this, not quite as much as I did the, the flat braid, but I could flatten it if I wanted to before I did the, the braid or the weave, I should say.